<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Christy Villanueva with the West San Antonio Chamber and we are here with Sheriff Salazar for our West San Antonio Chamber pop-up. You may have heard about this segment that we do. It is a Facebook Live segment that we run related to business and business resources for all of our members and friends of the Chamber. So we hope that you'll stay tuned for the next 15 minutes as we cover a few topics with Sheriff Salazar. So welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you and I have had this partnership um, in relation to the Chamber mm -hmm. hosting the Active Shooter and the Gold Badge program. Right. It has been a tremendous oh, success. Oh, it's been outrageous, I love it. So we've, so the audience may not know, we've hosted now nine classes served over 875 people throughout the city from the west side all the way to Live Oak. <coughs> so that means classes that have been all the way around the city. Now, so Sheriff, please, if you could just tell people a little bit about the active shooter because most folks that show up to the class mm -hmm. say, they walk away saying, I never knew this is what I was gonna get. Well. So people want to overcomplicate this. They, mm -hmm. they think that we're going to come in and teach them all kinds of tactical jujitsu type stuff. And it's not, it's, it's information that the common uh, lay person is going to need to keep themselves safe in an active shooter situation. It's really just about having a plan. Right. Um, you know, the, the kind of criminals that, that perpetrate these sorts of crimes, although there's no uh, hardcore profile for them. What mm -hmm. we do know about active shooters is most of them are male. And beyond that, that's it. Um, so, but the one thing they have in common is the sense of panic that they try to create mm -hmm. in their victims. Okay. Um, they do these things in order to create a sense of panic so that they can walk around and victimize people. So what we do is we teach people the, the information that they're going to need. It's a simple plan uh, to keep calm in the situation and how to survive it, uh, you know, calmly. Absolutely. And we have a great time. So <laughs> we use, you know, there's a little bit of joking, mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of seriousness, but the the deputies definitely get the point across. Oh, absolutely! I've got some great <laughs> instructors that that teach uh, these these classes for Christy in the West Side Chamber. Um, David Meyer and and, uh, and J Rod mm -hmm. are are two uh, ex excellent uh, uh, speakers, both of them, and, and and accomplished presenters for sure. Absolutely. Now, for the audience out there, those that don't understand how the active shooter works, I'd like to at least have you help me dispel the myths of who comes to teach it and where they receive their training because mm -hmm. there's a lot of active shooter classes out sure. there to the point that some organizations are charging 80 and 90 dollars yeah. a person that's to crazy. get this class that's crazy uh it's 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 information and it, to me in my humble opinion that's price gouging you're, you're capitalizing on people's fear this is a very real fear people have of this sort of thing mm -hmm. we don't charge for it uh, these folks are, are trained professionally by one of the the, the well-known organizations that teaches uh, trains police officers on how to train the public mm -hmm. and so you know we're pleased to be able to present this information free of charge absolutely. it saves lives absolutely so these trainings are open to anyone and everyone free and open to the public We'll have our next class in late February, so please look on our website, on either website for the Sheriff's Department or the West Chamber for more information on that. And it is available in Spanish if anyone is interested. The other class that we've had some great success mm -hmm. with that is more intense mm -hmm. and probably needs a little more time to explain is sure. the Gold Badge. Sure, the Gold Badge Certification Program uh, works on uh, the, the basic premise of, of preventing crime from happening in the first place. How? Mm -hmm. By giving uh, small business owners or large business owners uh, the tools that they need to protect themselves against crime. Mm -hmm. um, to prevent it from happening in the first place. Uh, to, you know, the, the, and a lot of people don't realize this, that how you lay out a store and camera placement and what's on the windows can, can be seen from outside the, can a police officer passing by on the outside see it. All that kind of stuff can help you. If you lay that out, you prevent a crime from happening in the first place. Right. Uh, so we give you the information that you need to prevent robberies, uh, to, to, or in the event that it does happen, how to address it in the aftermath to be mm -hmm. able to, to stand a better chance of catching the perpetrators. Okay. Uh, we also cover stuff like employee pilferage, which mm -hmm. you know that's a kiss of death for, for many uh, small mom and pop type businesses. Um, we, we touch on a little bit of everything with regard, even, yeah. even some human trafficking uh, recognition and avoidance for, for small businesses. A lot of people don't realize that um, as a small business owner, you do play a part in being able to address crimes like that Absolutely. by knowing what to look for. So we train you in all of those, all of those aspects. 
the cool part about the Gold Badge Certification and why we call it that, uh, for completing the program, you actually get a big gold badge that goes on the front door. Mm -hmm. um, and it says, you know, criminals beware. This business participates in the Gold Badge Certification Program. It's letting everybody that's coming in know that, that you've got some extra training behind you and you've worked with the Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. But you talk about a deterrent effect. Psychologically, if I'm a crook, and the first thing I see walking into the store is a big gold sheriff's badge. Right. I might think twice. I might move on to a different store altogether. Mm -hmm. So, so it's very. There's a lot of psychology that went into this into this design, and it's a great program. Uh, we keep it entertaining. The, the score deputies from our uh, community policing unit keep it very entertaining and uh, very informative. Uh, so we we hope that you check it out. Absolutely, and those classes are also coming up at the end of February. And just so everyone knows, these classes are focused on helping the small business owner, whether it's a retail store or it's an office building, or maybe you move around, maybe you have a lot of salespeople. It's just <clears throat> great information to know, mm -hmm. no matter what. No, it, it is, and look, it's good for the economy. Um, we all already know, and you know, we're hoping to share this with everybody that comes through, that if a neighborhood lets crime come in and take over, the small businesses go away because they don't want to get robbed. They mm -hmm. go to where the, the, the money is. Mm -hmm. uh, and then before long, when the businesses go, the neighborhood around it dies. And so this, this us teaching these classes, teaching you how to protect yourself and prevent crime from happening is actually good for the economy. It's mm -hmm. good for San Antonio business. Absolutely. And we've had a lot of folks on the west side tell us we just don't understand why these small businesses mm -hmm. are closing and then they're not coming back right. or something is not reopening within mm -hmm. let's say 12 months or right. 18 months well some of it is part of that that crime that safety piece mm -hmm that needs to be addressed. Yeah, no, if I'm a business owner and I'm looking at buying a piece of property somewhere, I'm gonna look at what the crime stats are mm -hmm. in that area. And if they're bad, they're gonna go somewhere else. Yes. And if you're trying to revitalize an area or try to keep it vitalized, yeah, that's, that's the way to do it is keep the crime, the criminal element out. Absolutely, and as we have those conversations about economic development and what's the driver, how do we educate small businesses, it's not just about that having the financial background, educating all the staff. It is also a key safety piece. Absolutely. To have that as a foundation. Safety is number one. Mm -hmm. You keep your employees safe, you keep your family safe, then you need to also keep your customers safe. Absolutely. If the customer doesn't feel safe, they're not going to shop there. Yes, absolutely. So we're just happy to have this partnership and then continue to expand on that. Two other elements that are also involved in sure. the Gold Badge is going to be the mental health mm -hmm. and also the gangs. Right. So I think that was especially interesting to a lot of mm -hmm. our attendees because they didn't realize that that was impacting their business. Absolutely. And, and we do. We touch on, on both of those. Uh, here at the Sheriff's Office, we... Um, you know, while we don't put ourselves out there as experts, we're, we're pretty knowledgeable with regard to the, the human um, the human psyche with regard mm -hmm. to criminology, and we talk about that quite a bit, the, 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 uh, the mental health uh, aspect of it, uh, which does go to it. And, and yeah, if it's, if it's mishandled, it can, you know, bad things can happen. So we right. want to make sure that, that we teach our, our attendees about, both of the, about that in both of these classes that yes. we do. And, uh, and rest assured that we have resources for you. Mm -hmm. There's other organizations that help to support these classes. So they're happy to take it a step further, and we can provide those to you once you attend the class. Sure. So more on that later. Now, as we move on, you're doing some really phenomenal things with recruitment. And I love the way the Sheriff's Department is evolving, mm -hmm. you know, through your time, through your short time here, sure. really. <laughs> so you. tell us a little bit about the recruitment going on. Well, with regard to recruitment, we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to fill our ranks for sure. Mm -hmm. But we are resisting the urge, like, like every other law enforcement agency in the country, we're fighting over applicants. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there's, for whatever reason, people just aren't flocking to, to go into police work. There's other... Uh, avenues out there some of the, a lot of the young folks want to go into the technical field a lot of mm -hmm. stem yes. uh, stuff and so uh, that that's com we're competing against that for sure but here at the sheriff's office we're competing against higher wages at some other agencies yes. but uh, so we we've recently done a couple things we lowered our, our recruiting age to 18 uh, however we did make it tougher to get in uh, mm -hmm. we, we changed some of our rules uh, to make sure that we're not getting we're getting the right kind of people into the into that's the organization right. and into the profession uh, you start letting opening the floodgates like some some agencies that that 
Um, and nationwide, this is a trend that when you get in trouble mm -hmm. uh, with, with regard to recruitment, you open the floodgates, you relax your standards, and, and that's just not a good idea. You're right. going to get re attract the wrong kind of people, and then you're going to have bigger problems. Yes. So we want the right kind of people that are in this profession for the right reason, but we also want people, and this is important, that are reflective of the community that we serve, Absolutely. right? Racially, culturally, um, you know, principles-wise, we need to look and be similar to the community that we serve. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, you're definitely doing a great job on that. Thank and you. I know in speaking with a lot of <clears throat> the current folks that work for you and that have been with this department many years, mm -hmm. they appreciate the changes, they appreciate the advancement, and the opportunity for education. Sure. That's what's great is, I mean, this is a future for any young person, mm -hmm. but the fact that there is no age limit, so right. I know there's a lot of folks coming out of the military. Right. Looking for that second career. Absolutely, and we don't have we don't have an age cutoff, so we'll hire you at 18. Where some of the other uh, big agencies here in town, uh, you have to be 20, 21 mm -hmm. to get in. We'll we'll hire you at 18. Uh, but additionally, there's no maximum age. Right. Uh, a, a guy just made it through my academy at the age of 59, and he rocked it. <laughs> the guy rocked it at 59, uh, so much so that he, he did some time at the, at the jail as a deputy in, in the jail. We moved him back to the academy as an instructor because he's just that good at it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've got, just like he's one of our success stories, his name's uh, you know, Roderick. Uh, we've got a lot of other success stories, people that come through in their, in their late 50s, and uh, just start a second career, maybe even a third career in some instances. Yes, that's, and we're here to support all of the folks here in our mm -hmm. community and those coming into the San Antonio and surrounding area. Sure. So it's just phenomenal because those veterans that have that training mm -hmm. and then so many others that maybe come from the corporate world, mm -hmm. they're strong and they want to pass on their knowledge. So it's not as if they stop at 50 and right. that's it, life is over. It's yeah. not. No, it's not. <laughs> and if you do come from the military, of course, we value the training and experience that you have, the structure that you're used to. Mm -hmm. But certainly if you come from the corporate world, you chances are you've got some pretty good leadership qualities that that's we want to capture. Mm -hmm. And if you are in your 50s or even 60s, uh, we'd like to, to capture some of that and, and uh, instill it in some of our younger officers. Mm -hmm. So we definitely need any and all people that are interested in a re rewarding career to call us at 210. 335 jobs. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Sheriff, thank for you. allowing us in. Yes, and we're looking forward to a long and prosperous partnership. Absolutely, likewise. And uh, at least from the board of directors of the West San Antonio Chamber and myself, we appreciate the partnership because we want to make this community and all of Bear County mm -hmm. as safe as possible and make sure everyone is equipped with the right knowledge. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.